So they randomly decided to drop uh, the Xenoblade 3 Expansion Pass Wave 4 Story DLC, uh, which I think a lot of people were expecting that it wouldn't be coming until maybe later in the summer or in the fall, but it's actually coming next week. Um, so I'm going to take a look at the trailer and see what they're showing off here. Niall! Grab that! Niall. <clears throat> Matthew. Grab that! Take care of Niall. The future. Grab that! It's in your hands. Matthew! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, Chulk? Rex? What is that? <laughs> that weapon can't be a blade. Looks so All much right, like Shulk. That has you to be Shulk's you child. With me. <laughs> and the girl looks like I don't uh, Pyra. Place. Such duplicity is beneath me. The clockless. What do you want to Look, do? I mean, that looks like Shulk. Pyra. Careful. Shulk with long hair. hair. I like your attitude, kiddo. Dude, Rex is humongous. He got so big. What is he fighting with? Dude, this is... It's gotta be like the strongest team, right? So is one of them with or without Mobius? Nothing. Rex's changes. kid and the other no. Shulk's kid. In the end, people always kill people. Where they're like significant others. Whoa, dude! Whoa! Yes. The Liberator's base of operations. Do they just show is this how badly all three? You wish to erase us? My God. Elvis? But now I'm glad I'm here. Glad I can choose for myself. They have the same oh, voice geez. actor. Just knowing who I meant to yeah, be. Yeah, that's fighting. definitely Shulk. That's the biggest this. thing of all. Even having built the perfect world for themselves, humans yet desire the beyond. Matthew. Bro. Always in fantasy land. Uh. Okay, well, it seems like to me there's, if you played one and two, right, um, and then maybe also got to three, like, obviously since it's story DLC for three, I'm imagining it's probably like a prequel to three, like Torna was a prequel to two, um, like, kind of them reacting to the, what happens, like eventually you end up within three. I guess I won't say any more. <laughs> but if you're watching, you probably know. Um, it's interesting. Um, so they dropped this news, right? Um, with with this trailer, but then they also had news on on uh, Twitter accounts too. So let's see here. We are getting, uh, we are getting Noah and, and Mio amiibo figures, like their own amiibo figures, which uh, we did not know before. That's completely completely new. So I'm assuming they must do something in three. I I can't I can't really imagine where else they would be uh, doing anything, you know, besides maybe a future. I don't know, Smash Brothers game or something. But then you do have the Smash Brothers amiibos for Pyra and Mithra finally getting a launch. And it looks like at least maybe in like the US, 
it's going to be a bundle pack. So, you know, if you can't afford those expensive <laughs> figures that they have of those, um, and then it looks like it will <clears throat> allow you to um, use the skins for, the, for your swords in three for each of their uh, Aegis swords. Um, let's see. I don't see anything else on this. But you know, an always reliable source is the Japanese Xenoblade Twitter. They tend to post a ton of stuff, so let's see what they got on there. Oh, we got a video here. Okay. Glimmer, I think, is her name. We got Shulk saving her. Supposedly Rex's daughter, or one of Rex's daughters. Okay. Uh, we got we got artwork for for Shulk, older Shulk, with the long hair. He's got that arm. Really cool looking. Um. All right, we got Rex. I mean. You gotta imagine this is the this is the really big glow up right here. Um like it's crazy, dude. He's humongous. He was so small. <laughs> so big now. And I'd imagine less people complaining about his outfits. <laughs> um Alright, and then we got We got another one. Another video here. The pose. <laughs> this is crazy. Um. Yeah, I am noticing that at certain parts when we were looking in the videos and stuff, they look different. So I wonder if that's flashbacks or what. Like the no scars. Um. Let's see. Oh, we got. Alva's art? Okay, that's cool. He's doing like that. He's doing like the... <laughs> Yo, he's doing the Frieza... The Frieza pose. You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh... Frieza... Yeah! He's <laughs> he's doing the like. Let's see if I can grab it real quick. <laughs> what the heck? I feel like if you guys have seen Dragon Ball, you gotta know what I mean. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> um, okay. Cool. 
Uh, got anything else here? We got battle theme. Is that what that is? Yo, this is this is some there's some crazy stuff going on right here. Um. Take a listen. Okay. It's almost kind of like... Like, there's parts of it that are kind of reminding me of other battle themes that they've done in other games. I mean... Hey, they're, they're good at these. They're always good at these. It, it was gonna be... It was it was gonna be good, of course. Like, now, as, as to, like, whether a rank or not, what do we have? Is this a, a relationship chart? Okay, yeah, so then, like... This is definitely... Rex's daughter, and this is definitely Shulk's son? Okay. You have to see if there's like a translated version of this. Just showing the amiibos, uh... Anything else interesting here? Looks like we got some combat stuff. I don't know how much you're actually going to be able to take away from it. Th now, now, I'm curious about... What? Wait a second. Bro. Okay. Just take a look for a second at what, what this character is doing on the screen. I just showed you a second ago a picture of this artwork. Where is it? Okay. You see that? <laughs> you see the wings, right? That is the same thing. And they kind of look alike, actually. Is... Is this character... Is this character's name A? I mean... It, that, this is just, um... Okay. <laughs> Why does... Why does she... Why does she have... Have... One of his wings? Is... Are they like part of... Oh my. Bro, they're not showing us this like for us not to think that, right? Definitely like... Like an offensive healer or something, like, is what, what I'm getting from from looking at the character. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, you could infer a lot just by looking at this. I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this. Like, I feel like I could just go on. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on here. What I would suggest <laughs> is, um, I think for this one, I think for this story right here. The more games that you will have played to familiar, you know, familiarize yourself with uh, the broader character base from all of the different games, the better off you are. Obviously, there's not much time, <laughs> so I, you know you're not gonna probably be able to get a, get get in a game or two before it comes out. But this might be one that's worth waiting for if you haven't gotten to all of the games. At least now it's like more accessible. I don't know if they're going to have anything with X. It kind of stinks that there's not like a current way to play that. But 
Um, yeah, I would suggest this might be one of those ones that you want to get around to most of the games first before um, playing, at least probably more so than, you know, like Torna was, which was kind of just mainly more related to, to 2. This seems like because we have the two kind of worlds intersecting from the first two games, um, you know, familiarizing yourself with all of the characters might be a better thing. And, you know, that's just what I would suggest. Um, anyways, did you guys like what you saw? Are you going to get the Amiibos? And are you going to be playing this when it comes out? Or are you going to try and wait to get around to all the games first? Um, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.